everyone, welcome back. On this episode of In the Kitchen with Sammy, I'm gonna share with you a very hearty dish. Um, this is one of, another one of my hearty in a hurry. This is my um, recipe for a chicken pasta soup, and it is phenomenal. So let's go over what we will be using. I have some um, chicken thighs here. These are the bone-in. I like to use the, the bone-in chicken thighs for this particular dish. I have a little bit of um, carrots and celery and onions, just roughly chopped. Um, they're going to flavor it quite well, and it's going to add a remarkable color to it. The pasta that I'm using today is the medium shell. We're also going to be using um, some butter and some uh, finely chopped garlic. In here, I have a little bit of um, thyme, and I have some onion flakes, some onion powder, and some garlic salt. I have some chicken stock, some water, some salt and pepper, and uh, this is uh, the chicken flavoring I like to use as opposed to the chicken uh, bouillon cubes because it has a much richer flavor and I'm using some extra virgin olive oil. So on that note, let's go over to the stove and we're gonna get started. First off, let's go ahead and salt and pepper our chicken here. And give it a nice peppering. Well. Okay, while we're waiting for um, our pan to heat up, we're gonna go ahead and add to our water just a couple um, spoonfuls of this. Let's do about three because I want the I want the um, chicken stock, the broth, to be nice and rich in flavor. And you can always sample your um, at once your chicken is done cooking, and then you can sample your broth to see how flavorful it is. And if it's not flavorful enough, then you can add some more. Give that a nice stir. Okay. And then into the pot here, we're going to add a little bit of um, olive oil. And we're going to add our butter. This is going to make, the butter is going to make the broth so much richer. Go ahead and throw our garlic in there. I'm just kind of give it a stir around. We're not really looking to cook the garlic right off. We're just going to infuse the flavors there. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Oh, And then we're going to go ahead and add our thighs. And what we're going to do is we're just going to brown these on both sides just for a couple minutes. I've got it on about medium high heat. It's all right. I know that my butter's not completely melted, but it will. I promise you. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit more pepper. That's what I like to do. Jesus, they make these things for, I should have instructions with these things. And then my seasoning here, I'm just going to whip it around. Oops. Mm, smell it first. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it right on top. It's going to be amazing. Now, we're going to let these brown on both sides for a couple minutes and then um, we'll proceed. I'm going to brown my chicken on both sides. Took maybe four minutes, five minutes max. And then what you're going to do is add your vegetables to the pot there. You got all those that goodness on the bottom. See that? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's turn that down. Oh, so amazing. And we're gonna let this stir fry for um, just a, a just a couple minutes or so until it starts, uh, you know, kind of turning translucent a little bit. And let the flavors marry. And then you are going to add your. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I remember what I told you about the celery. Don't ever chop the leaves off. Chop those up and put them in your dish. They have amazing flavor. And you want to go, you want to want to go ahead and add your chicken stock slowly. Go ahead and add both cans. I'll we'll turn it up a little bit so we can get it boiling again. And then you can add your your water that has the 
granulated stock in there and then we're going to add the chicken right back and then we're going to bring this to a boil and we're going to cover it and let it cook for about 45 minutes or until the chicken is completely fork tender and done. All right, I want you to look down in here at my soup. What I done is I took my chicken out and I um, chunked it up. See the chunks in there, look at that. Or shredded it, whatever. You can chunk it, shred it, what, whatever. Just tear it off the bone. And I've um, put my pasta in there. Um, let it come to a boil and I cooked it as directed on the back of the package. I also, I put my chicken in there to, together with my pasta as well, and I want you to look at that. And what we're going to do is, I promise you, eventually, I am going to, this is one one of the things I like to call hearty in a hurry. This chicken soup is so hearty. And I am going to classify the videos that way separately. If you want something hearty in a hurry, you can go right to it. I've got a piece of chicken hanging off there. I can't wait to seat my mouth into this. Sounds like the dog sinking her mouth into the cat food as we speak. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Making my nose run. And it's phenomenal. Make sure you try this. Give me a thumbs up. Get the um, written recipe at inthekitchenwithsandy.blogspot.com. See you next time. Bye.